So, hi everyone. So, I'm really happy to be here. Um, my name is Quentin uh, Le Seller. I'm a software developer at Blockcipher and also a green contributor. So, today's talk is about how to mine green. So, basically, you, you, might, want, you might be wondering um, what is primary, secondary. I'm just going back there. Okay. So, what is primary, secondary? Uh, can I CPU mine? Can I? Uh, what is a Kukaru? Can I mine with my radio on HD? Whatever uh, stuff like that. So in this talk, I'm going to try to answer all of these questions, and it's going to be a bit of technical talk where we'll be talking about hardware and um, calculation too. So we'll be talking about four things. Um, First thing which be, will be the proof of work. So as you might know, Green used two proof of work, which is like primary and secondary. And we'll talk about which one you need to choose. And after, we'll talk about the hardware, which hardware is the most profitable. And then we'll talk about software, mining software and pool software too. So which mining software you need to use based on several uh, parameters and which pool is the best for me. So at the end of the talk, you can ask me several questions. I think we will have time for some questions. OK. So in terms of proof of work, so I'm not going to explain this, actually. It's like just a slide of students from uh, Daniel. But basically, Green used two proof of work, which are uh, derived from a uh, cuckoo cycle family. And why is there true proof of work? So First, we call the two proof of work, the first one, we call it the primary proof of work. And it's supposed to be, it's made to be AV friendly. So people can develop AV for that. And in the future, it will be really profitable to develop AV for that. Second one is the secondary proof of work, which is made to be AV resistant and GPU friendly. So by, by AV resistant, I mean that Green developer will change the, uh, the algorithm every six months to discourage any ASIC manufacturer to build uh, an ASIC for that. So you might be wondering why, why are we doing this? Why is it way more complicated to do this? Um, so the idea is that we want to have a grassroots um, community of GPU um, miners. And we also want to encourage ethic development. But we don't want to have like a, um, a centralized ASICs company mining all the green at the beginning. So it's like a kind of a middle ground between those two. So as I was saying, there is two proof of work which are both derived from the Cuckoo Cycle family. Uh, so same for that. Uh, it's like way too much details. But what we need to know is like the first proof of work, the primary is called KUKA2 31 plus, and it's designed for ASICs. And the second one is called the, the secondary proof of work, KUKARU39. So basically, to mine on a GPU, the primary, you need right now 11 gigabytes of uh, memory. And the secondary, you need 4 gigabytes of memory. And so the primary proof of work. It's like start at 10% of the reward, and we go up to 100% of the reward in two years. And the secondary will decline linearly from 90% as of now to zero in two years. So like that, we really encourage many ASIC manufacturer to build um, ASICs for green in the future. Um, yeah. So basically, we will look like that. It, Meaning that in a year, by January 2020, uh, the primary proof of work, which is like ASICs targeted, will be dominant in green. Um, so you might be wondering like, which proof of work I need to choose. Um, so there is some calculation that you can do. It's actually not that hard. And <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just like, there's a way simpler way to do that. You can just go on. Uh, green-pool.org, and there is like a what to mine calculator. So it was made by Andrew Krishna. And basically, like you can see two values. You can see the 
graph per second with C31 and graph per second with C29. So this is like the value for uh, 10 TTI as of now. And you can see that when I put this value like uh, a week ago, it was more profitable to mine with the primary proof of work. It's like a tool really useful when you want to mine. When you have a GPU capable of mining both, it's really useful to, uh, to check regularly with that. Okay, so now we go to the hardware choice. So now that you know that which proof of work you can mine, what kind of memory you need, we'll see the hardware. So for the CPU, forget it. It's not possible to mine with a CPU right, right now. In green is a waste of time, a waste of energy. So let's go directly to GPU. Um, so you have a lot of choice for GPU as of now. You can mine with AMD or NVIDIA. Both work, but right now, um, NVIDIA are way more performant. So you can see the full list of all the compatible uh, GPU right now. So this will be online too. Um, and the safe bet, as, as of now, as of today, right now, is to go to for an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti. So why? Because with this card, you can mine the primary and secondary proof of work, and so you can adapt to the market, and you uh, can always ch choose the most profitable proof of work in green. Uh, pros and cons, yes, you can mine both proof of work, maybe higher resale value, uh, can play credits in 4K too, excuse FPS. <laughs> uh, Con is expensive, and when ASICs are out, it, it will mean that ASICs for the primary proof of work are available. You will not be able to uh, to mine the primary uh, like and make money too. It will not be profitable. So ASICs, like a really like a new section actually. Um, so we are really lucky to have uh, two. Uh, manufacturer uh, working on ASICs in the public as of now. Uh, the first one is Obelisk, maybe in the room, I don't know. Um, so they announced the ASICs for uh, October 2019, and it's, um, so it will do 100 uh, graph per second on KUKA 31st, which is equivalent to uh, 50 uh, 2080 Ti. So it's really, really an improvement in terms of uh, what, uh, graph per what, let's say. And which is really cool is that a percentage of the profit goes to the green development fund, which uh, you might know is really important for us. So, and the, the second ASICS, which was announced, is by uh, Inner Silicon. So I have very little details on that. So if Inner Silicon is in the room and can give us uh, any detail, <laughs> because we don't have any specs right now. Uh, but it was announced like uh, three days ago. Okay, so now that you know a bit about the uh, different uh, hardware choice that you have, we'll see the software. But before going deep into the software that you can use, I just want to speak about the fair mining license. So any derived miner that charge a developer fee for mining a fair coin, world with no pre-mine or other form of developer compensation, shall offer to share half the fee revenue with the current developers. Which kind of makes sense, because if you are making money developing a miner and, and you are making money on someone, people but people are working for free, giving back is normal. Um, so it's like really important for us to, uh, to develop an LC ecosystem Especially like uh, with green, where there is no ICO and no funda reward. Um, so yeah. So uh, there is like two types of software right now. There is a good software. Uh, there is like the open source and, and the one that gives back to the um, to the green development fund. So there is green miner, which is like the reference implementation, and there is a green gold miner, which is also open source and. Uh, give back half the fee to the, the fund. And there is also uh, Green Pro, which is like the pro version of the um, Green Gold Miner. And there is also KB Miner, which is included in MinerBib, which is a, a mining, uh, Linux mining operating system. 
And the last one, which was uh, as of yesterday in the last category, is B minor. So B minor just made a donation to the Green Fund, and so they will be giving uh, half the fee to the Green Deaf Fund. And the last category of minor is the uh, buzz, the bad main software. <laughs> so as of now, it's G minor. So G minor doesn't give anything back to the Deaf Fund. So going into details, so we did a lot of uh, benchmarking on all the miners. Uh, so to be clear, this is not up to date. This is like uh, four days old, which is like a year in crypto. <laughs> because like, there are like three new, three new updates for B minor and Green Pro and G minor. But it's still, still a good, uh, good reference, let's say. So. Remember that I said that the 2080 Ti was a good bet, and you can see that the growth per, per watt for 2080 Ti is still good. But you can also see that card like 1060 or P106, which is like the 1060 for um, without uh, display output, is still super efficient too. So you might want to consider if you have a, a big mining farm and you want to, uh, you might want to optimize your your watt, your graph per watt. So you might, you might want to do those tests. This is for uh, Kukaru 29, which is like the GPU uh, proof of work. And then for Kukaru 231, so there is only m one miner right now, which is like, like the reference green miner. Um, so the best one as of now is the 2080 Ti. But you will see that the, the value computed here is like you have to adjust them based on the, uh, on the type of card. Um, so you may, you may see that uh, when, when you are mining with your mining software, you see that uh, the hash rate that you see, uh, for example, in B minor, you see, uh, let's say, uh, 34, 37 graph per second, and you will see on the pool side, it's way lower than that. So we have seen like several times that, m that mining software are kind of overestimating the hash rates. So I'm just giving you a simple formula to compute your hash rate by yourself. You just take the pool difficulty, you take the num number of valid share you submitted in the yes, the last hour, you multiply it by 42, and you divide by the, by the last hour in the case. It will give you your hash rate, your effective hash rate, based on the number of valid share you submitted. <coughs> and there is another uh, parameter, which is called the fidelity. Fidelity is, is, is the probability for a server to find a 42 cycle. So this value is dependent on the mining software. So like the, the three, value that you can, three values that you can see here is for green miners, the reference implementation. So basically, when you are mining uh, Kukaru 29, the hash rate that you see is uh, most likely the hash rate that you get, um, but not for Kukaru 231 because you can see that it's like almost 30% less on uh, RTX, uh, so let's say like 2080 Ti, you will get 30% less than you see. So we did a lot of tests uh, to see, uh, to try to compute the fidelity, um, so like not me, but like one of the members of the community did the, did the test to compute the fidelity of other miners. So we found out that most of the time, like B minor, G minor are like 20% uh, are 20% uh, like uh, over what you get. So, for example, if you mine at 20 GPS, you will get 16, something like that. Okay, and the pool choice. Uh, so right now you have a lot of mining pool, which is great too, like for for really like a recent coin. Um, you have F2 pool, Luxor, Green pool, Green Mint. And the choice is really clear. <laughs> 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 no, nah, I'm kidding. Uh, so I'm not going to tell you which pool you should, you should use. I'm just going to uh, to make like uh, to, to explain the situation as of now. So, for example, for Kukaru 29, um, you see like F2 pool and Star pool are really really big, and BTC.com is getting bigger too. And for Kukatu 231, it's even worse that 
since today, today this morning. Uh, S2 pool is really, really strong too, and Spark pool too. So what I can say is like, uh, choose a fair pool, meaning that choose a pool that gives back to the green development fund. Just like the software, choose a pool like, for example, green-pool.org will give back uh, funds to, to the green development fund. At the same for green means, we are giving back some of, of, the, uh, of the fee to the green development fund. And also, choose a pool with less than 50% uh, of the ash rate, please. <laughs> Does that make sense? But obvious for everyone, apparently. And so the first one, Mimba Rimbal Green Pool, apparently is, uh, they stopped the development uh, as of yesterday. Um, yeah, so I think there is one less question uh, that miners ask themselves when they are mining. It's like, wait, there is no address in green, how can I get paid? So right now, like, pool and, pool and exchange are like, really like you're trying to, uh, to develop something. So right now you can pay, you can deposit and exchange files with direct file or email. The file you can withdraw with Keybase, uh, HTTP, HTTPS, or uh, Wallet Seven Thirteen. In the future, maybe more. And yeah, so we are reaching the conclusion here. So as I was saying, yeah, there is two parts. There is a pool proof of choice, hardware choice, software choice, and uh, pool choice. What well, is really hard for me to tell you right now, or which proof of work and our choice are the best uh, in the future? I can tell you that to choose a fair mining software to give back to the green development fund, and to choose a fair pool in order to uh, to maximize your your investment, like in green. Thank you. Yeah, question, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, go ahead. I think we need. Uh, is there no so mining pools, um, the mining pools that have a. Okay. Thank you. The mining pools that have, you know, 20 or 30 or 40%, how many rigs are they running? So, how many rigs are running um, Cockaroo and Cockatoo 29 and 31? Okay, like, um, so you can do an estimation on how many GPUs are running uh, right now on the network. Yeah. So if you take like the, let's say 28 e which makes like seven graph per second, you can divide 1.5 million graph per second by seven, and you will have the number of GPU, which will be 28 e which is one of the most efficient GPU. So maybe more than that, actually. I say, so how many 28 equivalents, I guess, so, but roughly how many GPUs are running, if you could give me a ballpark? Uh, it's like 1.5 million divided, divided by seven. Oh, five, okay, so 700,000. Wow. Um, also, the whole fair mining thing, um, doesn't that sort of ignore capital expense that, yeah, um, as a software developer, yes, you often uh, have work with a partner that distributes and you get 15 or 20 percent back if you're a software developer, traditionally in the shrink wrap world. Um, asking the distributor, basically, to give you 50 percent back means they both go out of business, which is why VisiCalc died. So you mean like on the mining software parts? Yeah, on the, on the fair mining thing, that the, um, if you have a, a, a company, you want to give them 50% 50, 50 back to your software developers, no company could survive doing that, certainly before they pay back their, their CapEx. So I think we are not really out like, with the uh, 50% uh, value, actually. Like, if, if you are giving back one of, the, of your revenue with like, what you can with the green development fund, it's not okay. It, it said 50% is what you expect. Yeah, so... You you want to yeah, you're yeah. The, so the idea is that uh, the green developers have put way more resources into developing green than the uh, uh, minor developers have put into developing their minor software. So it seems fair to, to uh, share the, uh, the minor fee proceeds 50-50. Uh, um, uh, yes, after all expenses have been subtracted in the long run, but um, I'm not sure how long it's gonna take them to spin out initially. At least this is tradition of you know fifty years of software development. Okay. Any other question? Are we good? Thank you. Thank you, Quentin. All right.